they have uh, ministry has chosen two important aspects. So one is this uh, stay safe online, uh, which is the uh, cyber security awareness among the various group of users, and the second thing is like the digital innovation alliance. Right? They are also like you know there, there are so many frauds are happening. So how do we uh, uh, fraud at large with them? Fraud jargon are like something uh, you know. Man, we are going to do this. We are going to do this. So, for example, man, in class, this is jargon. Man, who is ever in class? Man, theft jargon. Is that class jargon? Is that class jargon? Is that theft? And then, man, we are going to do this. Man, who is ever in class? 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 some information. So similarly, in this cyber world, there is a lot of things. So if you don't think like it will happen on the same day. You know, in the same day, you know, in the same day, you know, you know, observe the same day. Observe the same day, you know, you can attack the same day. Like, you can do the same day, you can do the same day, you can do the same day. Okay, so one is this Stay Safe Online campaign. We are going to talk about that Stay Safe Online campaign and the ENT. And the objective is to do the same thing. So today's session name is uh, Cyber Rising Practices. I'm not going to spend much time about uh, our organization called CDAC. I think most of the people are aware, like, you know, uh, 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 the reason why I'm saying about CDAC is, CDAC is into the various domains, uh, which are, you know, national interest, right? National interest is someone who is areas like Punjab, so CDAC is spread across uh, around uh, 12 cities in India, and uh, more than uh, uh, 2,000, you know, 3,500R&D scientists are working, like research and development uh, uh, scientists are working across various domains uh, across India. And uh, of course, like many of the people are aware, uh, first supercomputer in India. You intend to first supercomputer computer Param. Param supercomputer. Thank you. So, Param <coughs> supercomputer ni develop chase in the uh, CDAC. Develop chase in Tarawata, one of the national key dedicated chat in Tarawata. That is how, like, you know, CDAC has started. So CDAC is established to develop a supercomputer for India, right? We all know like from 60s, 80s, like a lot of development is happening. But those developing nations are denied to share the supercomputing facility within India. Then the government thought like, why don't we have our own supercomputer? So that is why we have to say that the supercomputer is going to start with CDAC and develop with CDAC and with CDAC. And like we are still working on the supercomputer, like what now we are having a you know, Param, Param Yuva, Param Sikti, Param Padma and all like we have, like now we are having the fifth generation supercomputer. So in the world, which is the fifth supercomputer, you know, econo like, uh, one is economically, second environmentally, right? If, if there is any device, it produces a lot of emission, right? In the form of radiation and all such kind of things. Those things are also addressed by our Indian supercomputer, like which we uh, worked on like uh, Param uh, uh, Padma plus supercomputer, which we are having right now. Right, so CDAC uh, is also known as you know uh, supercomputing people. Right, we are working on all these uh, areas, and uh, especially CDAC is into all these uh, uh, six or seven uh, important domains. So one is the high performance uh, computing, grid and cloud computing. Right, adi uh, adi the in depth don't go. Right, high performance computing. Erosu, eight is level network computer uh, configuration intending. Okay, 80s, 90s, we have a computer configuration in the 2000s, we have a computer configuration in the 2000s, we have a computer configuration in the 3 times, 4 times, we have a mobile device, right? So, that day, 4 GB RAM and tag is very low. Now, most of your mobile phones are having 32 GB, 16 GB, 28 GB. That is RAM. That is why we have a gun space at the end. So, high performance, we have a technology, we have a needs, we have a need, Lifestyle part on the to address all such kind of things like we are into the high performance computing. Not only that, like grid and cloud computing, uh, like you know, a, a group of computers we kept it so that the scientific organizations will use that kind of facility. And cloud computing, like you know, uh, 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 computing facility will be there somewhere, like where it is located, like most of the people are not aware, right? That kind of things also we do. And multilingual and heritage computing today, like what are the media is using, like what are the fonts. So the first fonts were developed, uh, you know, ISFAC fonts were developed by CEDA, and to, which is given it to the market, and most of the people have used it. From there, like a lot of fonts are also derived, because that is a different ball game, right? Uh, and the professional electronics and VLSA, very large scale system integration and embedded systems. Like whatever we are talking about,